Okay, welcome to Cooking and Jesus. We are getting the prep for the onions, and uh, we've got the onions chopped up. We are using Vidalia sweet onions here, and we are got we've got our pieces and stems, uh, mushrooms, no salt added, which I really don't care. You can have salt or not have salt, but anyhow, salt is not bad for you. So contrary to what the food pyramid says, anyhow. Uh, anyhow, we're going to be cooking in butter. And we've got this uh, Kerrygold butter, pure Irish butter. And we are going to start with about a half a, half a stick of the butter here. And uh, we are going to get this thing prepped up. We will be using a little bit of water because you need water to sweat the mushrooms and we're going to do probably we're going to do about a three-quarter stick of butter to start out with so let's start with that and then let's see where we go all right get our camera set let's get our water ready all right so, again, we are semi thawing out our meat, frozen meat that we, uh, in uh, part one, have uh, sliced the Monaco steak, which is the, uh, let's just say, poor man's, I hate to use that term because I would say it's smart man, smart woman's deal. All right, so just get this butter rendered down. Uh, we're going to add our onions and we got these things in there what we're going to be doing is caramelizing these onions we're going to be pulling the sugars out and and pretty much make it a crust of the sugars that's really what caramelization is all about is pulling the sugars out of the vegetable and onions do that very well and we're just going to kind of like caramelize those. So what I want to do is I don't want to put the mushrooms in yet. Um, I want to get the onions rendered down. So this is basically uh, two, two and a half onions maybe. Medium size. And so I want to get a lid out here to put over that. What I'm going to do is the way you cook or get onions done is through steam. We have our butter, but I'm going to add a little bit of water here so it can steam up and get these onions done. So we've got it on high here, getting our onions finished up here. So what we're really doing is laying a base when we cook our meat, we're going to keep the same stuff we're gonna we will probably end up cooking the moisture back out of the skillet uh, most of it before the meat goes in and uh, so that's kind of what we're gonna do so we will be getting this rendered and again if you like mushrooms they're a great addition to Philly cheesesteaks and so you know, we went back out and we bought some more Delmonico steaks uh, because we used all of them for our cheese steaks. So um, another thing I bought is I bought a variety of cheese, pepper jack. I do like pepper jack. We got some thin, thin sliced provolone. Uh, it's not about sin. I know I messed up there, but it's all about Jesus today. Anyhow, that's what we're doing right now. We're getting these rendered down. And I want you to kind of hear this. I'll bring you in. Listen to that sound. You can see that cook in butter. Okay. Doesn't that sound great? Doesn't that look awesome? Right up in there. 
Steve. Beautiful. Beautiful. Getting our camera lens. Steaming. That's all right. Okay, so we are a few minutes into all right let's get this camera set back up here finish back all right so we'll be right back okay welcome back we are we have put the uh our mushroom we've got pieces and stems we've put in here and so anyhow we're just we've added them to our mixture of Kerrygold butter a little bit of water as needed as we go through the process here we put in a three-quarter stick of butter to start cooking the onions down and render them what we are doing now is kind of cooking the um, the moisture back out of them and what we're looking for is we want to try and get some caramelization on these things so that requires cooking down the moisture and we've got our we didn't want to put the mushrooms in early on with the onions because the mushrooms we don't want to cook as long as the onions they don't need to break down so here's what we got and you are seeing it right here okay. and again these things are smelling yummy smelling yummy adding a lot of flavor flavor smell to the kitchen all right so that's where we're at now and uh we don't need to really our onions are cooked through so we're looking good on that uh, uh, Nicole has uh, made us some chocolate chip cookies. Uh, in the meantime, as we have been working on getting these cheese steaks, look at that. Look at that yummy Delmonico beef. It's going to render down. We're going to add our onions to this on our Philly steak and cheese. We've got our cheese waiting in the wings. We've got our provolone, we've got some pepper jack, we've got baby Swiss, uh, we've got mozzarella. So we have all the cheeses that you might want or flavor your Philly cheesesteak with. Um, we have getting ready to be, we're going to be serving these with some golden steak fries. Orida, which is not sponsoring this video, but uh, we want them crisp. And we want them to come up crisp and good. So we still got our oven on. It's, it's preheating, getting ready for that uh, goodness and yumminess. So anyhow, we are having fun getting this stuff prepped and ready to go. So uh, we will come back to you in a few moments. Once we get our meat transferred over, we get started on our meat. And uh, again, we're going to get these fries in there, baking. Uh, get those ready. We're getting close. We're going to be getting our... Uh, we've got our... We bought us some um, French sub rolls. Again, we've got these on sale. Dollar off. These things are feeling really soft and yummy. Um, again, uh, you've seen our part one. You've seen that we also have some brat and sausage buns. So these uh, are also an excellent uh, vehicle to carry that steak in one's mouth. Uh, so we will butter them up. We will toast them in the yummy skillet flavors. So again, we're just caramelizing these onions and getting them ready for the steak. So, all right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back, and what we've done is we've taken our meat that was frozen, and since the skillet was still hot with the, from the onions cooking, 
and those are looking great we've got the onions here and we've put them in a bowl with the mushrooms we salt and peppered them and now we're just going to keep them warm put some foil over there and just kind of keep them warming over here <clears throat> we have our cheese out and again you can see what we've done with our meat here and i just throw the lid on it and uh, you can see it's already thawed out and that's why when part one video we showed you we made it thin and when we froze it it's just gonna thaw out very quick okay and so all we did was just kept our warm skillet on the burner we shut the fire off and what we've done was just covered it up that's in that butter sauce we will probably add some more Kerrygold butter to finish out our stick of butter uh, so this whole four Philly cheesesteak sandwiches plus some extra meat is going to render us some awesome delicious Delmonico steak sandwiches so again why are we waiting we are waiting on the oven we are doing fries we're doing steak fries and while we're waiting on those steak fries <clears throat> we're just letting the meat fall out in the skillet that was already heated so we're kind of repurposing the heat not letting it dissipate without purpose so anyhow we are at about 13 more minutes on those uh, fries and once those get within about three to five minutes we want to add some extra cook time if they're not crunchy enough then we will start our meat up we will put that fire back up to high and then we will just basically cook them cook the red out of it take it off immediately throw it in our bowl here and get ready to what we'll be doing is taking our buttered rolls and we will put them in here and what we'll do is toast them and then we will be ready to assemble our sandwiches and add whatever sauces we like if you want any sauce and so anyhow that's where we're at we'll be right back okay guys we are back we've got our uh, steak finished up here at the skillet we are chopping it now at the uh, chopping block we have our cheese laid out we are ready for our cheese and we also have our buns toasted they are ready we are going to serve up three of them we have our onions done we have our uh, they are in here and so what we are doing now is final prep final finish on each steak so I will give you a product view in a moment so enjoy the video Lots of beef. Okay. All right. So we've got one that's going to get. Some provolone. And. Also, some pepper jack. All right, so we're going to place this in the oven. And we're going to give that a few seconds there.
have this ready. Come out. Uh, we're going to give it a couple more seconds. All right. And we've got our other meat chopped, ready to go here on our next sandwich. Again, we are waiting on this guy to get finished up. And so we will be pulling him out. Okay. That one there is ready. Got the... Do our next bun. next load of meat and we will be putting some more all right all right this will be transferred back over here and we're ready Okay, so there we go. So we will wait on that. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our meat. Once again, finish out the meat here. I knew we'd have a little left over. We have a little left over because we have one less eater that is going to be eating. So we are going to make three nicely loaded, meat loaded, that is. Okay guys, I am going to enjoy this awesome grab. Some meal. Mm. Delicious. The onions. The mushrooms taste very delicious. They are spiced just right. Mm. Very juicy and flavorful. This bread it's crispy on the outside and very good on the inside. Even though it's toasted, the meat juice has literally saturated for flavor the bun. Mm. Yes is a win. This is delicious and totally worthy of a great Philly steak sandwich.